friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is subtenants block for managing a traumatic cataract the patient sustained trauma about one month back the eye is quite now and i have taken up this case for surgery after neck in the conjunctiva and then another neck in the tenons a blunt needle is passed through this opening posteriorly this is the infaro nasal quadrant a blunt needle is passed posteriorly and then about 1.5 to 2 cc of lignocaine is injected in the subtenons space and after a few minutes this causes very good anesthesia so after injecting i'm using a cotton tipped janson bud pressing the area for few seconds and i start working superiorly my plan is to make the main incision at 11 o'clock and here is the main incision with a 2.8 mm keratom fix the eye with just by asking the patient to look at on side and this is an incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus yes the main incision is made and now i take a lens tip knife make a side port at 8 o'clock on the right side of the main incision another side port at around 2 o'clock on the left side of the main incision and now my plan is to stain the anterior capsule nicely so here goes an air bubble beneath this air bubble i apply 0.06% trypan blue dye over the anterior capsule and the exposed cortex in this case the anterior capsule is torn from 11 o'clock to 6 o'clock we can see some intact capsule on the left side and exposed cortex on the right side the dye is washed out nicely and then Two percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. And uh, here goes the bisco, two percent SPMC, and the bisco is applied over the cornea for better visibility. here in this snap you can see intact capsule on the left side and the torn margin and the cortex on the right side i've taken a needle incising the intact part of the anterior capsule and making this flap my plan is to do a rexis on the intact portion of the capsule and now i take a vas scissor and make a, a long cut here and then i take the utrita forceps hold the capsule and go in a parabolic pathway and do this maneuver Now, as I pull, I find that it is tough, so I decided not to pull and to cut these bands. This is one cut, 
and this is the second card and this is another card this is the third card and now this capsule and the fibrous band is free the fibrous band is actually the rolled off margin of the anterior capsule and now let me see if I can remove the cortex by the Simco itself but I find that there is a nucleus and it will not come by Simco I have to divide this nucleus into several fragments and then emulsify and remove these fragments so by Simco I have removed some cortex and by this hydro dissection has occurred I didn't do active hydro dissection in this case because I don't know the status of the posterior capsule ultrasound shows showed eco free vitreous cavity so I hope the posterior capsule is intact if the posterior capsule is ruptured the vitreous cavity will not be eco free and now my plan is to divide the nucleus by these two instruments two Sinsky hooks so you can call it pre-chop of the nucleus by these two instruments this is because I didn't want to exert pressure of the fluid on the posterior capsule I don't know how far the capsule has been torn hope it has been torn up to the zonule and has not extended posteriorly so by this two instrument I have divided the nucleus into three fragments so if the nucleus is soft we can just use two Sinsky hooks and divide the nucleus into fragments now I inject visco 2% SPMC and then go into the anterior chamber with the FECO needle I'm not using chopper because the nucleus has been already divided bottle height has been decreased to 60 centimeter I usually use 100 centimeter or bottle height but this is 60 centimeter and since I'm using irrigation and aspiration together the fluid pressure is less on the posterior capsule so preach off is a very good way to manage such traumatic cataracts and very nicely the cortex also has come out and now visco is again injected to fill off the anterior chamber and then I am going to use this instrument this is a 23 gauge Simco cannula to remove the cortex So cortex is being cleaned yes um, I'm not in a hurry I'm doing it very slowly in odd cases you should not hurry up in routine cases we can do fast but in odd cases we must give quality time to the patient now I have gone through the left side port 
and removing the cortex from 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock and the cortex is coming very nicely by the simco if we use by manual irrigation aspiration there will be a pressure of about 60 cm on the posterior capsule but with simco we can control the pressure very nicely so cortex is very nicely cleaned and now this is visco and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens the lens we have selected in this case is sensor multipiece because this is a versatile lens we can place the lens in the sulcus we can use it as a uh, intraoscleral haptic fixated iol so i selected this multipiece intraocular lens and in this case i'm going to place this in the back one haptic will be at 3 o'clock another haptic will be at 9 o'clock and here goes the haptic in the bag and now i turn the cartridge and here goes the other haptic the trailing haptic is going to 3 o'clock and the lead haptic has gone to 9 o'clock and now i am removing the visco from the anterior chamber and now i go behind the iwell remove the visco from the capsular bag and a thorough cleaning of visco is done this is to reduce the post operative rise of intraocular pressure visco induced intraocular pressure rise should not occur we must clean the visco very nicely in our surgeries and now i'm going to use the irrigating proof to thoroughly irrigate and remove some more visco if it is there you can see a band kind of thing on the right side that is the margin of the anterior capsule torn margin of the anterior capsule on the right side now i'm pulling the iris to make the people little small in this case i didn't opt for iris repair because we have to examine the retina very nicely this is a blunt trauma and there can be retinal dialysis so if the pupil is little dilated it will be easier to examine the retina this is closure of the side ports now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is 
traversed very nicely pure bss is left in the interior chamber the chamber is very nicely formed integrity of the wounds are checked by a cotton tipped junction bard and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence